purpose of this video is to go over uh, just some basics of looking at these rational functions and thinking about how their graphs will look. A couple words of wisdom here that I gave in class today. You want to factor everything first and then think about how everything is affected. Uh, don't, don't jump right into uh, trying to figure out the asymptotes and everything until you factor and then, and then think about it. Uh, if you do long division and there is no remainder, there will not be a slant asymptote. If the function is bottom heavy or balanced, don't bother with long division. You really can't do it. Uh, there will be no slant asymptote. Let's move on. Uh, here's one problem. I gave you four problems on the whiteboard today, and I wanted you to work on them. And uh, basically, uh, here's what I would do first. I'd go through all these problems, and I would factor. The numerator here is going to be x, uh, let's see, minus 5 times x plus 2. The bottom has an x plus 2. All right, the x plus 2s can cancel leaving me basically with the function x minus 5, y equals x minus 5. This is another key that long division is going to produce no remainder. Uh, when you basically get a nice clean cancellation like that, and everything's gone except this new function, I don't think we're going to get a slant asymptote, even though this is top heavy. We'll see that in a moment. Uh, we do know that there will be a hole in the graph because it was canceled. There was a cancellation there at negative 2 comma something. That something comes from plugging negative 2 into the remaining function and seeing what you get. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Voila, that's where the y-coordinate is. Negative 2, negative 7. Let's go ahead and work up the, up the ladder here. The y-intercept is found by plugging 0 in for x. 0 minus 5 is negative 5, so the y-intercept exists. One little, little uh, thing to think about there is if there was a hole at 0 and your y-intercept was at 0 comma something, there wouldn't be a y-intercept. If you ever have a point that's also where a hole is, then you're not going to have um, a point actually there. We'll see that again, I think, later in the video. Uh, here, uh, the x-intercept now, you want to think about in the remaining function, what would I plug in to produce 0? And that's 5. Vertical asymptote. After you canceled stuff, is there any denominator left here? There's no denominator. There's no x minus something down here. Okay, if nothing is down there, there's not going to be a vertical asymptote. So you would say none. Horizontal asymptote, top-heavy, none. Uh, slant asymptote, everything canceled, so it's going to be none. I'll prove that right now by showing you what long division looks like. x plus 2 is going into x squared minus 3x minus 10. What times x makes x squared? x times x makes x squared plus... 2x, line, subtract, go. Cancel. Negative 3x minus 2x is negative 5x. Bring down the negative 10. What times x makes negative 5x? Negative 5. Negative 5 times x, negative 5x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And when you put a line and subtract this whole thing, there's no remainder. That means that this remaining function is basically where the graph lives, x minus 5. It's not an asymptote, it's the actual graph. If there's no remainder, this is not an asymptote. This is the actual graph. It just happens to have a hole in it at negative 2, negative 7. If you were graphing it, you would put a hole there. I'll stop there and do the rest, uh, do each problem in a separate video.